Welcome to the Everything Podcast Season 2 Episode 69 and if this uh, episode is being released when I want it to be released, uh, it should be the 1st of October or around there um, today. So if it is the 1st of October, uh, happy October and uh, in this episode we're, well as you know I'll talk about Wicked in the last episode which I reviewed Series 7 Episode 11 of Modern Up 2 titled The Crimson Horror, Series 7 Episode 12 Nightmare in Silver, Series 7 Episode 13 which was the finale The Name of the Doctor as well as the 50th Anniversary Special titled The Day of the Doctor but in this episode uh, I'll be reviewing uh, the 2013 Christmas Special as well, which is the same episode that the 11th Doctor regenerates in, which is titled The Time of the Doctor, as well as uh, reviewing the first couple of episodes of Series 8. But before we get to Doctor Reviews, it is time for this episode's feature, which is titled Inspirational Quote. I know I've got various names for it, but I think Inspirational Quote is the one I'm sticking with. And is taken, as usual, from Doctor Who, The Daily Doctor, 365 and a quarter, Universal Meditations on Life and How to Live It by Simon Gurria and Peter Anger Elders. And as usual, it is taken from the date that I am recording it, not that it will be released, which is the 14th of September. Uh, Thursday the 14th of September so yeah like two and a half weeks in advance so uh, yes that's uh, what, where, what date I'm recording it on and uh, this as usual it's a page uh, I brought, brought mine through Amazon so that might be the best way to get it uh, the wonder of a talk, the Doctor. The slightest accident in this stage of proceedings and will all reverse instantly into antimatter, blast out to the other side of the universe as a flash of electromagnetic radiation. We'll all become unpeople, undoing, unthings, untogether. Fascinating. And that section, and that was an excerpt taken from The Mutants, which was written by Bob Baker and Dave Martin and was broadcast in 1972. The Time Lords sent, sent the Doctor and Joe Grant on a mission to planet Solos in the 30th century. They give the Doctor a box containing evidence that the mutations of humanoid Solonians Solonians, I'm going with Solonians, into uh, monstrous, 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 there you go. Looking mutts is not a disease but all part of their natural life cycle. In fact, there's a third stage development in which the Solonians become beautiful flying beings with extraordinary powers. It's truly a wonder to behold. If only the ruling overlords who are humans from Earth could see it that way. Sadly, most people from Earth are interested only continuing to rule and exploit the Salonians. They try to alter the planet's atmosphere to make it more like that of Earth, and the Doctor cautions them about the technology they're using. But look, even the, the thought of his own total obliteration is awarded to the Doctor. All life is rich and strange and fascinating, even at the end. And that was this episode's feature, titled Inspirational Quote. But yes, uh, as I said, it is time for my first Modern Doctor Who review of the episode, which is for the 11th Doctor's final episode or story titled The Time of the Doctor, which was broadcast on Christmas Day, December 3rd. Christmas Day, which is December 25th, 2013. The Doctor is surrounded by Daleks attempting to exterminate him. The Doctor is travelling with a cyber man's head called Handles. Clara kills the no, calls the doctor. He, Clara doesn't kill the doctor, she calls the doctor. Uh, Clara mentions to the doctor that she created a made up boyfriend to please her family. The doctor is attacked by Cybermen. The doctor shows up to Clara's house naked. The doctor is still naked in front of Clara's family because she, he, well, the doctor does a sonic y thing 
it's a hologram, a quote hologram, but forgets to do it, or doesn't do it to Clara's family. The Doctor tells Clara this. Clara asks the Doctor to use the Sonic to cook the turkey. The silence returned in the story last seen in the Series 6 finale, Series 6, Episode 13, The Wedding of River Song. The Weeping Angels return last seen in Series 7, Episode 5, The Angels Take Manhattan. The Doctor summons the TARDIS. Uh, the TARDIS materialises around the Doctor and Clara. The Doctor gets really old. The Doctor instructs Clara to stay to keep her safe. The cracks in time uh, make their return, which Clara speaks through. Uh, to bed the time lord to grant the doctor a new regeneration cycle so with doctor who a regeneration cycle as we know the doctor can regenerate he can regenerate uh, he can have 13 bodies but can regenerate 12 times so obviously we've got the first 11 doctors plus uh the war doctor played by john hurt and uh the tenth doctor regenerates at the end of series 4 episode 12 a soloness which is why um he, Clara has to beg the Time Lord to give the Doctor a new regeneration cycle. Because you could go, oh, he's the 11th Doctor, but why is he having to, why is he regeneration number 13? And that's how um, he is regeneration number 13. The Time Lords agree. Uh, Matt Smith's 11th Doctor regenerates into uh, Peter Capaldi's 12th Doctor. Here are a few clips from the 2013 Christmas special, which is uh, Matt Smith's last episode as the 11th Doctor. The time of the Doctor. Here they are. Yep, so uh, that's it for all my reviews from uh, Series 7 plus the 50th plus. Uh, yes, but that's not it for this episode. Of course, what we've only just started, uh, we'll be re start re reviewing Series 8, starting with Episode 1, uh, Deep Breath. Before that, uh, there was a few trailers released uh, to promote Series 8. Here they are. So those were the trailers released ahead of Series 8 in general, as well as Series 8 Episode 1, Deep Breath, which is what I'm going to be reviewing that right now. So uh, the Pat and Oscar gang make the return in this episode, last seen in seri the Series 7 finale, Series 7 Episode 13, The Name of the Doctor. Uh, the newly regenerated Doctor talks to the dinosaur. As we know, he can speak to babies and... Uh, loads of other creatures, including dinosaurs as well, obviously. The Doctor believes Clara is a regenerated Handles, who we saw in the 2013 uh, Christmas special, The Time of the Doctor, which I've just reviewed. The Doctor calls Strax Clara. The Doctor faints. Clara is waiting for the Doctor to pick her up as she's left stranded in Victorian London. The Doctor do, uh, does, th does pick Clara up. Uh, in a newly refurbished TARDIS, the 11th Doctor calls Clara from the past. Uh, telling uh, Clara to help the Peter Capaldi's 12th Doctor. The 12th Doctor doesn't like hugs. Here are a few clips from Series 8, Episode 1 of Modern Doctor Who, titled Deep Breath. Enjoy! At the end of uh, Deep Breath, there were a few previews uh, revealed uh, for Series 8, Episode 2, Into the Dalek. Here they are. Those were all the clips and teasers released ahead of Series 8, Episode 2 of Modern Doctor Who. It's titled in no, not inside, Into the Dalek. Uh, my review for Into the Dalek will be coming up next. Next up is uh, my review for Series 8, Episode 2 of Modern Doctor Who, titled Into the Dalek. So as the name of the episode suggests, this episode features... The return of the Daleks last seen in the 2013 Christmas special, The Time of the Doctor. The Doctor has left Clara on present day Earth for three weeks. The Doctor asks for the Doctor's help. The Dalek asks for the Doctor's help, even. This Dalek asks that the Dalek race must be destroyed. The Doctor calls this Dalek Rusty, and Rusty kills all the remaining Daleks. Here are a few clips from Series 8, Episode 2 of Modern Doctor 2, titled It's the Dalek. Enjoy! The next episode I will be reviewing is of course Series 8 Episode 3 titled The Rob, no not the, titled Robert of Sherwood. Here is a preview of that episode. There is that preview so as I said coming up next will be my review for Series 8 Episode 3 of Modern Doctor 2 titled Robert, Robot of Sherwood. 
Now it's time for my review of Series 8 Episode 3 of Monodot 2 titled Rob, Ro I can't say Robot today for some reason, Robot of Sherwood. So in this story, Robin Hood is featured in, is featured, um, the Doctor has a fight with Robin Hood, the Doctor's we weapon is a spoon, Robin Hood's uh, weapon is a sword, uh, the Doctor pushes Robin Hood into the lake and Robin Hood does the same. The Doctor and Robin Hood are the two finalists in an archery competition. The Doctor cheats using his Sonic. The Doctor discovers the robots, who are the villain of the story, as the name of the episode suggests, Robot of Sherwood. Uh, Clara, the Doctor, and uh, Robin Hood are captured and then held captive by Pinch John. Here are a few clips from Series 8, Episode 3 of Modern Doctor 2, titled Robot of Sherwood. Next up is, uh, will be uh, Series 8 Episode 4 titled Listen, but before that will be a few teasers released for Series 8 Episode 4 titled Listen, here they are. Now it's time for my review of Series 8 Episode 4 of Modern Doctor Who, which is titled Listen. So in this story, the Doctor and Clara help a little boy with his fears. The Doctor explains to the little boy that fear is good. Clara asks if the Doctor has a plan. The Doctor instructs Clara to close her eyes as well as the little boy. They both agree and Clara explains what fear is. Here is a few clips from Series 8 Episode 4 of Doctor Who. Listen. The next episode I'm going to review in this episode is Series 8, Episode 5, Time Heist. But before I get to my review, here are a few teasers for Series 8, Episode 5, Time Heist. You will rob the bank of Carabraxas. The teasers released for Series 8 Episode 5 Time Heist, which I'll be reviewing next. Now it's time for my review of Series 8 Episode 5 Time Heist. During the story, the Doctor and Clara have to rob a bank to survive. One of the native people that the Doctor and Clara meet is killed by the teller. The teller is restrained in a strayed jacket type suit. The Doctor and Clara have no idea where the TARDIS has materialised itself. The teller kills its victims through scanning their guilt. The Doctor compares the teller to telepathic sniffer dogs. Here are a few clips from Series 8, Episode 5 of Model Doctor Who, Time Heist. Now, uh, so yeah, so I've so far in this uh, video, I have reviewed uh, series so the first five episodes of Series 8 as well as the time of the Doctor. Now, I'm not going to be able to review the entire uh, Series 8, Episode 6, but what I am able to do is show you the previews for the Series 8 Episode 6 titled The Caretaker. Here they are. Hold on, there is just one more thing. We've got a newbie. And the new Caretaker. Skullvox Blitzer, one of the deadliest killing machines ever created. Are the kids safe? No. Nobody is safe. Those were uh, the previews for Series 8, Episode 6 of Modern Doc 2 titled The Caretaker, which I am going to review in tomorrow's, uh, the next episode, I don't know if it's going to come out tomorrow, hopefully it does. Uh, but yes, uh, just a reminder that in this video I have reviewed uh, t The Time of the Doctor, which is the 11th Doctor's Regeneration uh, story, which was broadcast on Christmas Day 2013, and I've reviewed the first five episodes of uh, Modern Doctor Who Series 8, which are Deep Breath. What's the second one? Into the Dalek, Robert, Robert, Robot of Shearwood, Listen, and Time Heist. So in tomorrow's episode, I will be uh, starting off uh, with my review of Suze Episode 6, Title of the Caretaker. We'll get a few more, and we have also got book extract featured in tomorrow's episode, 
but that is it which will be in series 2 episode 70 but that's it for the everything podcast season 2 episode 69 goodbye Welcome to the Everything Podcast, Season 2, Episode 70. So in the last episode, uh, I finished my review of the 11th Doctor's Era with the Time of the Doctor, as well as the first five episodes of Series 8. We'll be continuing uh, that, uh, but we've also got a uh, book extract in this episode. But before that, it's something that I should have done in yesterday's episode, but because I went straight from Time of the Doctor to Deep Breath, I forgot about it. And that was the transmission dates for Modern Doc 2 Series 8 and the 2014 Christmas Special. So the transmission dates are Deep Breath, the 23rd of August 2014, Into the Dalek, 30th of August 2014, Robot, Robot of Shearwood, 6th of September 2014, Listen, 13th of September 2014, Time Heist, 20th of September 2014, the Caretaker, 27th of September 2014. Kill the Moon, 4th of October 2014. Mummy on the Orient Express, 11th of October 2014. Flatline, 18th of October 2014. In the Forest of the Night, 25th of October 2014. Dark Water, 1st of November 2014. Death in Heaven, 8th of November 2014, which is the series of finale followed by the Christmas special, last Christmas on the 25th of December 2014. But before we get to reviews, it is time, like I said in the introduction, it is time for this episode's feature, which is Book Extract. So if you haven't watched an episode uh, with a book extract in it, it's a page, I've got a wheel with all the 228 pages for this book. And the book that I'm going to be reading a page from today is Doctor Who Legends of Camelot, written by Jacqueline Rayner, which I got via Amazon, so that's probably the best way uh, to get it. Let's see which page from Doctor Who, Legends of Camelot by Jacqueline Rayner, I'm going to be reading today. This is page 68. Page 68. No, 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 didn't want you to play yet. Bad, bad computer. Yes, uh, so page 68 uh, from uh, Doc 2 Letters of Camelot by Jacqueline Rayner. Page 68, here is page 68. Well, he's the hero of the story, said the Doctor, but he's the real Arthur's playing piece. So doesn't that mean the real Arthur's nice as well? Couldn't Merlin have just dealt with Morgwin? and stop the fights that way. The uncle of a friend of mine once said, with great power comes great responsibility, said the Doctor. The real Morgwin and Arthur both had great power and forgot that last part. Anyway, I've met plenty of nice people who would have, wouldn't think twice about stepping on an ant. The Guardians were all ants. As the Doctor and Donna watched, the mist crept forward and swallowed up the right, white robed figure. The boat was now heading back towards them. Arthur's standing at the prow. He'll have it over if he's not pe- careful, said Donna. But the king reached shore without incident, and there was a zealous light in his eyes as he rejoined them on the bank. There are many battles ahead, Woodman, and he declared. But with righteousness on my side, with Excalibur by my side, I know I will triumph. Right, yeah, we agreed the doctor. Mind you, a bit awkward to carry two swords, but I'll just let me take care of that one for you. 
The king only had eyes for his new sword and handed over the old one without a second thought. Then cried, now we must away to Camelot. Today is Pentecost and it is my wedding day. He vaulted on to a magnificent white ste steed, guarded in blue and gold, a century horse, and called onwards. Is it just me, Donna began? That was page 68 from Doctor Who Legends of Camelot, Jacqueline Rayner, and that was this episode's feature titled Book Extract. Now it's back uh, to the modern Doctor Who reviews. Uh, which, uh, so if you watch the end of the last episode, it was, uh, I showed you a few clips from uh, the Caretaker Series 8 Episode 6, but I didn't manage to get my review. So here is my review for Series 8 Episode 6, titled The Caretaker. In this episode, Danny Pink and the Doctor meet for the first time. Donny, but D Donna, no, Danny, I was right. Just got confused reading that book. Uh, Danny believes the Doctor is her space, is Clara's space dad. Uh, Clara confesses that Danny is her boyfriend and that she loves him to the Doctor. Clara tells Danny that the Doctor is an alien. The Doctor shows Danny the TARDIS. Danny is in shock. Danny helps the Doctor and Clara save the day. And Clara is being shot at. Now the next episode, uh, Series 8, Episode 7, is Kill the Moon. Here were a few trailers or teasers for uh, Series 8, Episode 7, Kill the Moon. Here they are. The moon is the process of falling to bits. This is how it has to end. a terrible decision to make an innocent life versus the future of all mankind whatever future humanity might have depends upon the choice that is made right here right now ah! decision made yeah those were the clips uh, and teasers released ahead of Series 8 Episode 7, Kill the Moon, and I've got to say in the Caretaker segment, here are a few clips from Series 8 Episode 6, titled The Caretaker. Next up is my review for Kill the Moon, here it is. Uh, the Doctor and Clara are in spacesuits on the moon, a giant spider attacks the Doctor, the Doctor instructs Clara to go back to the TARDIS for her own safety, the Doctor leaves Clara stranded on the moon. Clara does the right thing. It is implied in this story that the moon might be an egg. Here are a few clips from Kill the Moon. Next up uh, is a few clips and trailers. Well, they're not clips. Teasers and trailers uh, for Series 8, Episode 8, titled Mummy on the Orient Express. Here they are. Start the clock. There's a monster on this train that can only be seen by those about to die. It's immortal. Unstoppable. Is this a rumor? Something else might be responsible. There were many trains to take the name Orient Express, but only one in space. Good morning, everyone. Your goal is to ascertain the foretold's yes, true no. nature. I know exactly what this sounds like. Isn't this exciting? It's immortal, unstoppable, unkillable. Can we get a new expert? Those that bear the foretold stare have 66 seconds to live. Stop the clock. Yeah, those were the teasers released ahead of Series 8, Episode 8 of um, Modern Doc 2 titled Mummy on the Orient Express. Here is my review for that episode. The villain of this story is a mummy, referred to as the foretold. Only the victims of the foretold can see it. Clara and the Doctor have an argument. The Doctor saves one person by taking their place. The Doctor tries to work out the foretold's plan. The Doctor saves the day like he usually does. The killer computer tries to kill everyone, including the Doctor and Clara. Here are a few clips from Mummy on the Orient Express. Next up is a the few trailers for uh, Flatline. Here they are. Oh, that can't be good. Something nearby is leeching all the external dimensions. Aliens. Possibly. Oh, well, who am I kidding? Probably. Whatever they are, they're experimenting. They're testing. They're, they are dissecting. Trying to understand us. Trying to understand three dimensions. I'm the doctor. Don't you dare. <clears throat> You can call me Clara. 
Those were the uh, previews and teasers trailers. I haven't decided what to call them. Preview teasers. Teasers, there we go. For uh, Series 8 Episode 9, uh, titled uh, Flatline. Here's my review for that episode. During this episode, the Doctor is trapped inside the TARDIS. Clara impersonates the Doctor. The Doctor has shrunk, which locks the Doctor inside. The Doctor gives Clara his sonic screwdriver as well as his psychic paper. The Doctor is annoyed at Clara impersonating him. The Doctor is freezing to death inside the Doctor. TARDIS and Clara says the Doctor. Here are a few clips from Flatline. Here are the teasers for Suze episode 10 in the Forest of the Night. There are very good solid scientific reasons for being really quite frightened just now. I think it's lovely. You have reached your destination. No, we haven't. We're supposed to be in the middle of London. You have reached your destination. Oh, stop saying that. She's only saying it because it's true. We are in the middle of London. We are in the middle of a forest. Come on, team, let's do this. We will, if you stop calling us a team. <laughs> Where the teasers released ahead of series 8 episode 10 in the forest of the night here is my review for that episode don danny pink returns in the story last seen in series 8 episode 6 the caretaker the doctor is arguing with the tardis london is covered with trees a schoolgirl asks for the doctor's help the doctor insults danny's navigational skills the doctor and clara reunite the doctor and clara come face to face with a pack of wolves and a tiger and danny says doctor and clara here are a few clips from in the forest of the night. Next up is the teaser for Dark Water. Here it is. Yes, so that was uh, the teaser released for Dark Water. Here is my review for that episode. This episode features Missy, who is a new incarnation of the Master, played by Michelle Gomez. Missy kisses the Doctor. The Doctor is stunned. This episode features the return of the Cybermen, last seen in Series 7, Episode 12. Nightmare in Silver, Missy reveals to the Doctor that she is the latest incarnation of the Master. But before uh, we get to uh, the clips from Dark Water, it's just a cast because I forgot to do it uh, at the, towards the beginning of the episode where I gave all the transmission dates. So of course the Twelve Doctors, played by Peter Capaldi. Clara Oswald is played by Jenna Coleman. Missy is played by Michelle Gomez, as I said uh, for the review for Dark Water. Um, Danny Pink, I think, is played by Samuel Anderson. And yeah, um, that is the uh, cast list for Doctor Who Series 8. Next up, and right now actually, is a few clips from uh, Doctor Who. Modern Dot 2, Series 8, Episode 11, titled Dark Water. Here they are. Next up is a teaser released for uh, the Series 8 finale, Series 8, Episode 12, titled Death in Heaven. Here it is. It was the teaser for Death in Heaven. Here is my review for the Series 8 finale, Death in Heaven. Missy is restrained after the events of the previous episode, Dark Water. Missy kills Osgood, who is a unit scientist. Missy tells Osgood that she's going to kill it. Obviously, it happens in the opposite way around. But as I've said before, some of my uh, reviews, or most of them actually, um, go back and forth a little bit. Um, Missy tells Osgood she's going to kill it. Missy insults the lifespan of the human race. After Danny died at the beginning of Dark Water, he has been converted into a Cyberman. Missy refers to the human race as pets. The Doctor calls himself an idiot. Danny saves the day and Danny sacrifices himself to save uh, Clara. Here are a few clips from the Series 8 finale, Death in Heaven. Yeah, so my last review which uh, of this episode, which actually ties us up quite nicely, is the 2014 Christmas special titled Last Christmas. Here is my review for that episode. Santa Claus is featured in the story alongside uh, his reindeer and two of his elves. The TARDIS materialises, the Doctor and Santa Claus come face to face. Most of this episode takes place as part of several dream sequences for the different characters, including Clara saying goodbye to Danny one final time. Santa saves the Doctor and Clara, the elves bicker, the villains of the story are dream crabs, the Doctor manages 
uh, had writing again, to save himself and Clara from dying. The Doctor and Clara wake up. The Doctor visits old Clara and Clara continues her adventures with the Doctor. Here is a few clips from the 2014 Christmas special of Doctor Who, Last Christmas. And uh, yes, that's, all, all, as I said, all my reviews of the episode. So um, we've actually finished Series 8, uh, which was a good place to start. So we managed to cover uh, Series 8 in two episodes, which is quite good going. Because uh, uh, I think when you when you see this, it will be October. Um, so obviously, I want to try and get uh, all the reviews done as quick as possible. Um, so... Uh, we, there's a bit of time, so it's not straight from the power of the Doctor to the 60th anniversary specials, uh, but we'll just see how that goes. But yeah, uh, in tomorrow's episode, it will be the start of my Series 9 uh, Modern Doctor Who reviews as well as 3 and 30. That is it for the Everything Podcast, Season 2, Episode 70. Goodbye. <laughs>